Hey guys, what's up and welcome to um, your Java graphics tutorial number 5 and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you well not, I'm not going to really be teaching anything, we're going to make a neat little program that has um, a set number of random colored panels instead of a grid and when you click on a random color panel what it does is it changes its color to a random color so it's pretty neat and I hope you enjoy this program you'll learn, I think you'll learn a lot from it I'm going to teach you something that I actually just learned like last night so I'm pretty excited to show you guys about it so it saves a lot of time anyways um... get your class called, uh, call mine random color panel and it extends J panel like usual alright um... set background and then we're gonna set our background to a random color and we haven't made this method yet so don't worry about that and then we're going to alright now this is the new thing that um, I'm teaching you guys normally when we do an event class we do like event e equals new event and then we do you know panel dot whatever but today um, I've learned something new it's called mouse adapter and what a mouse adapter does is it lets you choose um, just one or two or three or four or five or however many you want of the methods to implement from the mouse listener class. So you, normally we'd have to like implement all of them and then just delete the method bodies or the ones we're not using. But today I found a way that you can just implement the ones you want to use only so you don't need to delete all the ones that you don't want to use. And to do this you just use mouse adapter instead of mouse listener. So to do this you do add or just go up here and do it. So add mouse listener and then for your parameters, you're going to do new, and then whatever your class is going to be. And I'm going to call it event, empty parameters, like that. And yeah, it's giving us error because we haven't made that class yet, but that's alright. So, um, yeah, so I think I'll do the event, and then I'll do the random color method. So, public class event, and then instead of implements, we're going to do extends mouse adapt. Ad adapter. And see how the error went away? And it's not giving us any errors because we actually don't need to implement any of them. But we can implement any of them that we want. But to do this, we need to type in this. We need this um, at symbol and type in override. And what that does is um, it's going to allow us to override this method so we can implement it into our class or our program. So public void. Um, mouse click clicked mouse event e and see the override um, error went away and now it says um, overrides java dot ot dot event dot mouse adapter about mouse click so it just overrides this so we can use it in our, in our program that's all that does and then all we're gonna do when we click it is we're gonna set background random color so when we click a panel its background is going to change to a predetermined random color and this random color is going to be a public color um, random color it's not going to be void because we're we're going to return something um, so int red and that's going to be int math dot random that's going to be by 255 because there's 256 or no I think it's 256 yeah um uh, red, green, blue color, I guess, values, so. Alright, and then just copy and paste that for green and blue, so. Green, blue, just change these. Green, blue, and then you gotta return a new color, so return new color, red, green, blue. And no slash. Alright. Just like that. And now our public um, random color method is going to work. So that's all we gotta do for this um, the panel. Now we gotta go to our frame class. And then for this one, it's basically the same, except we gotta add a little bit more, a couple more things. So um, public um, static main method, anyways, args. Alright. And then new frame. Just like every other time. Alright, now for our constructor, we're going to need to do just like we normally do.
And I'm gonna make it a uh, the size is gonna be a square because we're gonna have like an even amount of panels, and I want it to be e all the same size. So Let's do 300, 300. And then I'm gonna set the default closing operation. All right. Now I'm going to do make the pane. And you can set your layout to whatever you want. I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna do it five by five because I'm gonna have 25 panels. I'm gonna have 25 random colored panels inside of my uh, pane. So to do this, we're gonna need a for loop. So for int x, um, that's gonna be equal to. I'll start at one. X is less than or equal to 25, and X increment by one. So what this does is it creates a new integer. I just call it X. Starts it at 1 and it's going to be less than or equal for. And while it's less than or equal to 25, it's going to do this. And then it's going to stop when it gets to uh, 25. So it's going to fill in 25 random color panels in a 5x5 five five grid layout. So say you wanted to do like maybe 64. You change this to 8. Um, 8. And you change this to 64. Because 8 times 8 is 64. But me, I'm just going to do 5. So 5, 5, 25. Alright? And each time we want to do this, we want to make a new random color panel. So we'll do random color panel panels equal to new random color panel. Alright? And then pane dot add panel. So for each time we're doing this loop, we're creating a new panel and we're adding it to our pane. And then after we do this, we simply want to set our thing visible. So GUI set visible true. Alright? Now, we're done. Run it. Here it is. It is um, 25 panels that spawn. And they're all different color. When you click on each panel, they independently change colors of one another. So, yeah. So, uh, I'll just spawn it again just so, so you can see. They all spawn at different colors. No two are exactly the same since they're similar, but they're not. And then, um,. There's a lot of different color combinations you can get. I don't know how many, but it's a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, pretty useful for, uh, well, it's not really useful for anything, but it's pretty cool just to see in action. So, hope you like this program. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my videos because I'm always going to come out with new ones. And thanks for watching.